So, about four days ago, I went through a breakup, kind of. And I wanted to talk about it. And I wanted to make a video because I felt like that would be a good way for me to sit and talk about everything that I'm thinking and feeling and how it's affecting me right now uh, so that at some point, you know, now or in a week or two weeks or a couple months or a year, I can look back onto these thoughts and these feelings and see how they've played out and see, you know, how I'm feeling then and kind of learn from it better. Because I've kind of been in, you know, I've been through breakups before. I've dated people and had my heart broken. But this is different. Um, this wasn't a bad breakup. I don't even know if I can call it a breakup, honestly. I've been dating this person for a little over two years now. Uh, we met through friends. We've lived together basically the entire time because of um, other issues that he was going through with family and roommates and friends and kind of the similar thing on my side. Um, was it the best idea for us to be living together? Uh, really, honestly, before we even started dating, no. But I think it kind of helped us face reality um, and really learn about each other. And I mean, it, it hasn't always been easy. It's not all fun and games, you know. A, a relationship is work, especially when you genuinely really care about the person and enjoy being with them. Um, but kind of how this all played out recently is that I'm moving to California um, next year around this time to be closer to family that I have out there and explore new opportunities. This has been something that I have been talking about since f forever, really, honestly. Um, I've been trying to move back to California for a very long time. Um, he knew that going into this relationship, I knew that going into this relationship, and up until this weekend, sorry, my cat's yelling at me because she knows I'm in here. Um, you can probably hear her in the background during parts of this. Um, so up until this past week, there was no real doubt that we would make this move together. Um, Sorry, this is still very hard for me to talk about. Um, but we are not in the place, either of us, to move across the country together. Um, I have stuff that I need to take care of and face and deal with and learn from. Uh, and so does he. And it's a lot of things to worry about moving. It, it really is. Um, he wants to go to school and he has family things to deal with and he's not financially in the right place where I'm in a, a different point in my life. Uh, he's a few years younger, but I understand. Like, that's the hard part. Um, there are other factors, though, that played into this relationship that kind of make it more complex. Um, emotionally, he has a lot that he needs to let himself deal with. Uh, and it 
that caused uh, an issue with him communicating effectively with me, but it also made it hard for me to openly communicate with him. Uh, but we've acknowledged that before and we acknowledged it again this time. Um, and I feel like a lot of this came out of a place of fear, which is okay. Uh, you know, when this first happened, I was very hurt. Uh, I was heartbroken. I felt like things were kind of crumbling beneath me when this is something that, you know, I'm happy with this person and I want to marry this person. And, you know, though it might not be the healthiest situation, like I wanted things to work out and I, you know, I'm still willing to do what I have to do to work on myself and work on us. Um, but it's hard. Then I understood that all of this was coming from a place of fear with him. Um, and I think that made it a little bit harder because then I felt like, what am I doing wrong and why can't I help him feel happy or safe or comfortable enough to express these things and help himself. Uh, it's also hard knowing that you both still want to be together and that you want to work on things but that you need space and time to work on yourselves first. Um, like we still want to be there for each other and you know have memories and share good times and all of this but right now we just have so much that we have to honestly face um and we can't hold each other back right now uh being in a relationship even if you don't want to admit it is distracting sometimes when you're trying to work on things for yourself um you know i have always been the kind of person where if something's wrong i will put my stuff aside to help that person or I always want to be with that person just because they do make me so happy. Um, but I know that I've gotten to a point where in that I have let little things that make me happy, uh, I've, I've kind of let those fall away. And I know that I, in order for things to, you know, be better, for myself and be better for us and be in a spot where we can work on things together, I know that I need to take care of myself better. And I know that I need to let him do the same. Um, it's hard when, you know, right now I, I can't even imagine my life without him or imagine, you know, us not being able to work things out, but I know that what I need to do if I want things to ever be better is get my shit together and get my life back on track and work on myself. I work on myself, but right now in this video, I want to say it out loud that I am going to do better for myself this year. Um, this has been a reality check and though it might be difficult, I need this to propel me forward. Um, I have a lot of goals and things to do and I'm making lists and starting to get back on a routine and I want to share every step of that journey, even through me moving, I want to share that on this channel. Um, you know, and... I might end up moving to California alone, and that's scary, but I need to be able to know that I'm in the mental headspace to do that. If that's what it takes, then I'm going to do that. I can't, you know, deny that I'm scared, but I'm ready for change. I'm ready to make my life what I've always wanted it to be. 
Um, and I hope that you, if anyone is watching, um, I hope that you can learn something from it, even if it's just that little steps matter and that change in life is possible. I hope that something good comes of this. Um, and a message to myself, whenever you watch this again, it's okay. Take a deep breath, learn. You've gotten this far and we, we can do this. I, I can do this.